This year marks the 200th anniversary of the Hume and Hovel expedition, an epic overland four month journey of discovery that carved out the modern route between Australia's now two biggest cities, Sydney and Melbourne. According to local legend, on the 18th of October, 1824, it was beneath this very tree on the outskirts of Yass, now a stump, that Hamilton Hume and William Hovell and their fellow travellers camped. Hume must have liked it here, for the site later became Cooma Cottage, which Hume bought in 1839, expanded and lived in until his death in 1873. Apart from the Hume Highway, just about everywhere you look in Yass and surrounds are reminders of Hamilton Hume including the start of the Hume and Hovel track, which follows the expedition route 440 kilometers from here all the way to the Victorian border. There's also a bridge, a motel named in his honor, and an exhibition at the Yass and District Historical Society where you can discover the challenges Hume and Hovel faced and the legacy they created through captivating storyboards and rare artifacts. Oh, and not to forget, his final resting place at the Yass Cemetery. A little bit further afield at Fish River near Gunning is this commemorative column, which marks the location from where the expedition party set out on the 17th of October, 1824. Of the many stone cans that mark the expedition route, this one has to be the hardest to access. You've almost got to go on your own expedition to reach it. 200 years after the expedition is definitely a time for reflection. I wonder what the next two centuries will hold for Yass and for our country.